What is the DNA damage response? Every day we are bombarded by threats we can't even see. Ultraviolet rays from the sun can lead to skin cancer, and particles in the air we breathe can make us sick. Many of these threats work in similar ways. They damage our DNA, the genetic instructions in each of our cells. This DNA damage can cause a cell to go rogue, which is the cause of many cancers and also can cause some of the health problems associated with aging. Because of these potentially dire consequences, maintaining the integrity of our DNA is crucial for our health. Luckily for us, organisms long ago developed various ways to detect and respond to DNA damage. Collectively, these processes are called the DNA damage response. To understand the DNA damage response, you first need to know a little bit about what DNA is and how it works. A cell's DNA is kind of like a book of blueprints for building different molecular machines called proteins, which are the primary workhorses of the cell. If a page gets torn or blurred, the cell might not be able to make that particular protein correctly. Depending on which protein is affected, the cell could get sick, divide uncontrollably, or die. DNA can be damaged by external factors like UV light and x-rays. Damage can also occur when cells duplicate themselves in a process called cell division. In cell division, the parent cell copies its DNA to make a new version for the new cell. But the copying isn't always perfect. It's kind of like tracing a picture. Even with an exact image to copy, the tracer can make mistakes, creating a damaged book of blueprints for the new cell. Luckily for us and all other organisms, cells have developed strategies to detect and address DNA damage, regardless of the source. The DNA damage response begins when a cell is copying its DNA to prepare for replication. During that process, proteins can detect damage to the original DNA. If they find any, they can then trigger a variety of processes. First, they typically halt the cell division process. It's kind of like a construction inspection. If the DNA doesn't pass the quality test, the inspector forces the cell to deal with the problem before it is allowed to replicate. In some cases, the cells can repair the damage. For example, if it was caused by UV rays, the problem might be that neighboring parts of the strand are bonded together in a way they shouldn't be. To repair this type of damage, cells trigger a response that includes the production of DNA repair machinery. Human cells, and cells from other mammals, have another option if the damage is very severe. The DNA damage response may instruct the cell to kill itself for the sake of keeping the organism safe and healthy. This approach helps protect against cancer and other diseases. These examples provide just a tiny taste of the myriad aspects of DNA quality control and repair mechanisms that make up the DNA damage response. DNA maintenance is no easy task, but it is crucial for the survival and health of all organisms.